Welcome to this presentation on the Education Initiative SAIJU. Today I'm going to show you what we are doing in this initiative, why we are doing it, and I'm going to present to you the recent version and the future version of our website. First of all, I want to talk to you about why we saw the need for an education initiative for radar remote sensing. First of all, we realized that there is a huge amount of data available starting from the mid-70s with missions like CSAT and ranging to more continuous and ongoing missions like the European missions ERS and VSAT Sentinel or the Japanese missions starting with GERS, ALOS-1, ALOS-2 uh, Canadian missions like Radarsat 1 or 2 or the German and Italian missions in X-Band like TerraSax, Thundermix and Cosmos Gymet. So we have a vast amount of data which has continuous time series over multiple frequency bands which are now, as for example in the case of Sentinel-1A and 1B, also freely available to everybody. Also on the method side, researchers and scientists developed a lot of tools that are very useful in order to process and analyze radar data from simple tools like backscatter intensity analysis to more sophisticated measures like interferometry, polarimetry or even SAR tomography. So all of these tools are available, in many cases even freely available, and can be used in order to derive information about our Earth's surface. With the help of this data and tools, Almost all fields of geosciences can now foster the benefits of radar remote sensing. Many types of geoinformation can be derived from radar data and there are also many services that are already available on an operational level. That led us to the realization that there are not as many people using radar data as there should be. That's why we founded the education initiative SAIDU. So that's why we launched a series of activities in order to help people to learn about radar remote sensing. First of all, we implemented a summer school that has been established in 2013 here in Jena, Germany, which is a yearly event and is really focusing on teaching people about the applications that are possible with radar remote sensing, showing them how to use the data, how to get the data, and to communicate some of the basics to them. It's really an interdisciplinary event because people from governmental agencies, from universities and also from commercial entities, they come together and learn remote sensing together here. Building on that experience, we also started to organize and support international workshops, for example in South Africa, in Mexico, in Zambia, but also supporting uh, national workshops on Coper in the framework of Copernicus, for example. As you can see here, we have several international collaborations already going on or trying to build them up. Of course, we are collaborating on an international level with companies, with space agencies, with other education initiatives. We organized uh, several workshops in Africa and also, for example, in Mexico. And we are working on potential more international collaborations in order to yield the most out of the educational resources that are available in order to teach people radar remote sensing. Since we can only do so many face-to-face -face workshops and educate only so many people on a face-to-face -face basis, that's why the core and the heart of our project is a digitally based approach that comes with a web portal. The version 1.0 of the web portal, which you can access under the URL saidu.dlr.de, is established in 2014 and it looks like this and it features several resources and educational tools like lessons, tutorials and talks. We try to structure the material in a meaningful manner. Starting with the basics, there are some blocks of mathematics and physics of radar remote sensing and some fundamentals of data processing itself and also some principles of SAR imaging. Building on that, there are some methods that are used in order to interpret radar data, so some basics of image processing and also some principles of interferometry, polarimetry, passive microwave and radargrammetry. Following that, we have a strong focus on the applications, which we, which we split up in the Earth's spheres, for example the anthroposphere, biosphere, cryosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and oceanography. And also each unit itself, we try to structure it in a 
meaningful manner. So each unit has an educational objective that is stated to you in the beginning of the unit. And each unit is also stating the requirements. That means if you, for example, download an application unit, it will tell you which basics and which methods might be useful in order to understand the application that you have your hands on. Of course, each unit follows a certain structure that is also defined in the beginning. And in the end, there is given a section of further reading where you can go more into depth on books and papers and web resources if you want to learn more about each topic. So now let's have a look how the website looks like. So once you're registered and go to the area of units, you find some filters like categories and types and you can also sort the material. And if you want to choose, for example, just tutorials, you can do that. You can just pick the tutorial you like, go to the site, read the description, and then you can download the material. As you can see, all the material comes with a Creative Commons license that allows you to share and adapt the material as long as you are attributing where you got the material from. So overall, the website contains 40 lessons, which contain more than 2,300 PowerPoint slides. So that's a vast amount of information that is available to you in order to learn about radar remote sensing. Also, the website features 12 tutorials where you can really get a hands-on experience to process some data and to produce some results yourself. And we also feature right now eight sample data sets from satellites like Terrasa X, where the data is not as easy to re retrieve as, for example, from Sentinel. So you get a chance to also process data that is not so easy to get as Sentinel, for example. And on top of that, right now we have more than 24 hours of video talks which are by now mainly in German, but that will change in the future because the website will be a multilingual one in the future. To summarize, here are some features of the website. The URL is saidu.dlr.de and I highly recommend you go there, register and download all the material that might be useful for you. It will help you a lot in order to learn about radar remote sensing. All the material comes with a Creative Commons license, that means you can share it, you can adapt it, you can use it in any way, as long as you're attributing where the material comes from. The technology we are using is Drupal Content Management System, which makes it easy for us to share all the content with you. Also, the website has a responsive design, that means it doesn't matter if you access it with your smartphone, with a tablet or a PC, it will always look nice. This website exists since 2014 and right now we are working on a version 2.0. We are going to call this version Earth Observation College. And all the stuff that I already showed you will still be there. So all the lessons, all the tutorials and all the sample data, it will stay on the website and will be summarized under the point resources. But that's not all. So we are going to extend the web platform to a substantial degree. For example, we are going to implement an online university in the website. So what does it mean, online university? We are going to merge features of e-learning with features of community, which makes, in our opinion, sense if you want to learn something. So what does online university actually mean? So if you go to our website in the future, you will be able to take some courses on Earth observation and especially now radar remote sensing. And if you take a course, there will be some videos of experts telling you stuff about radar remote sensing. There will be some resources that will be useful to you in order to learn. There will be interactive content like explorer explanations, interactive graphics and so on. And there also will be quizzes to test whether or not you learned anything from the courses. And in the end you get to download a certificate if you finish the course successfully. So this is the next feature we are going to implement, an online university tailored for radar remote sensing. On top of that, we are implementing features that will help you to discuss with others, to share knowledge, to learn from other people, to talk to experts and so on. So there will be two streams of conversation that will be possible. First of all, there will be a conversation that accompanies the courses, that will talk about the topics of each course, where you can discuss the things you don't understand or share the knowledge with people who have questions. And there will be also the opportunity for everybody to just open discussion groups and discuss anything that is related to Earth observation. In addition to those features, we are also implementing features of social networks. So for example, on the platform, 
everybody will be able to write articles and read articles. So what does it mean? So the article feature contains the ability to read articles, to write articles, to bookmark them for future reading. And also you can follow other users like you might be used to from platforms like Twitter. So that means each user will be able to communicate with the entire community and vice versa. So as I was saying, we are going to merge features of online universities like Coursera and social networks like Twitter or Facebook, you name it. And we are going to integrate all of those features in our new website. Equipped with this new website, of course, we now have to fill it with content. So we have a platform now that is available to host a large Earth observation community and to enable this community via e-learning to learn something about Earth observation. So what we are going to do starting this fall is an online course on radar remote sensing. This course will be sponsored by ESA and we are right now developing this course and it will be probably be launched in October. And as I already said, we are going to launch this course on the platform earthobservationcollege.org. So we now have the first feature in our new platform. On top of that, we are going to build more online courses in cooperation with the German Aerospace Center. So there will be at least three mini online courses, which will take you around one week to take the uh, course and you can get a certificate after just one week. And we are planning to do one in German, one in English and one in French or Spanish, which is still up to discussion. So now we have this really nice platform for radar remote sensing and to teach people about radar remote sensing. But another thing that we decided to do now is we are going to open up the platform for all purposes and intents of Earth observation. So everybody who wants to provide a course on Earth observation on this platform might be able to do it in the future because now we are not only taking content of radar remote sensing into account but from Earth observation in general. So in the future, other institutions will be able to also provide content on this platform and we would be happy if other institutions would do so and approach us in order to share content with the users there. So if your institution is interested in sharing content on the platform, we would be happy to receive your comments and discuss with you about this opportunity. I'm thanking you for your attention. If you have any questions on the project or any suggestions for content or for modules or for courses and so on, please get back to me and I'm happy to take your questions. Thanks a lot.